As we all know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness. Woman of Elegance is honored once again to host our breast cancer initiative, Pink Gems. This year, we'll be partnering with Adam's Bakery. We're also going to be hearing from two women who are currently undergoing their chemotherapy, Shade Weeks and Nadra Supersad. Join us as we dive into their stories and learn about their process. And one thing I would leave with you, in the midst of your healing, you are still becoming. As you have just seen there, we are continuing the conversation because this is Breast Cancer Awareness Week on the Now Morning Show. And this morning, I'm going to be chatting with Janae Hira, who is the founder of Women of Elegance. And I'm also going to be chatting with Shade Weeks, who is a cancer patient. And we're going to find out about her story. So good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing quite well. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Good morning. Thank you for being here this morning with us. So first off, let's speak about Pink Gems itself. It has been uh, on for the past two years, and now there's another installment of it. Tell us about the history of Pink Gems. Sure. So um, Pink Gems is really created under Women of Elegance um, to give women who have survived through have survived through breast cancer or undergoing breast cancer the um, opportunity to share their stories. But not only just share their stories, but also motivate others who may also be going through the same exact situation or who also probably just going through a hard situation that could probably be similar that need motivation on how to kind of fight through that or even be able to relate to other stories because you know storytelling really helps persons go through their situation that's right that's right and shade is here to share with us this morning a little bit uh shade how has pink gems influenced you and how has it helped you um, it has opened up a, a whole new um, platform for me to share my story. Um, it was a really, really great opportunity for me. And it really kind of put me in touch with a lot of other women, strong women, um, that are either going through the same situation or other situations that would have counted on them to be, you know, a lot stronger than they usually would have had to be, had to be, you know. So it has been a really great experience. It's very encouraging. Jene is an amazing, amazing human being. And, you know, it has been a great experience thus far. And back to you, Jene. Where did the inspiration for this movement come from? Well, as Women of Elegance, our foundation is a woman and her work. So Carrie, don't matter what initiative or anything that you know we allow God to let us um, present to the world, it has the foundation has to be a woman being reminded on her work. So this was another platform in another entire um, community where we were we would have been able to kind of touch on to kind of help women find their work and remember that don't matter the situations or don't matter the circumstances that they've been through they are still worthy enough to accomplish the things that God has for them, especially like Shadi, because she is such a beautiful musician and she's talented. So these things are still being able to birth out of her, even in the midst of her season. And Shadi, back to you. Um, you know, with your story and, and the journey that you're going through, what do you want the main takeaway of your story to be for other women who may be going through similar circumstance uh, as you? Um, mainly that the um, being diagnosed with cancer doesn't necessarily mean a death sentence and I and I keep reiterating this to anyone that speaks to me or anyone that wants to know it's not necessarily a death sentence and for me it wasn't um, I have a lot of faith in the God that I serve and I have he has preserved me through this whole experience and has this has allowed me to experience a different uh, side of the season. I um, did go through a lot of um, different side effects, but I wasn't, I didn't suffer through this season and I was able to see things differently, see life different, differently. And my faith has been, you know, boosted since I have gotten my diagnosis and I know that I'm going to come out victorious. So the, the main, um, thing to take away from from all of this is to have faith honestly it may sound you know sort of just you know cliche but honestly speaking it really does take you through your worst because to get through something like this it's a mind over matter situation you have to have a strong mind and for me having a strong mind means drawing on my strength and that is God so yeah definitely and you know uh, I, I love the optimism that you have there and I, I want to ask you both this same question. You know, what's the importance of sharing your healing process with others? I want to ask you first, Jeanette. 
Well, I see the importance of doing that. It's something that I always say, which is brave vulnerability. And when, we're, when we show brave vulnerability, um, we're able to be strong with, in the midst of our weakness, which is actually two opposites. And it actually makes other persons be like, oh my goodness, you've been through that too? I'm, I'm going through that. Okay, she came out. Oh, this is motivating because people relate to life-changing real stories. So brave vulnerability is what makes it so important to heal through others sharing their stories. You put that together so well. Um, we don't have much time, so I want to ask quickly, you know, when will it be aired and how do people get involved? So, um, lovely TTP will be airing it this week as well. Um, and also will be on social media, Women of Elegance, um, Facebook and Instagram. But TTP will be airing it this week, so, you know, make sure and look out for it when it, will, it might be aired tonight or tomorrow. And right. I know definitely it will be on at Sunday at 5 p.m. Uh, Sunday at 5.30, um, it may air tonight or tomorrow. What time tonight or tomorrow? 8 p.m. 8, 8 p.m. tonight. Okay, yeah. wonderful. All right, well, that and so much to look forward to, um, you know, and I want to thank you for joining us this morning. Continue the great work that you are both doing because you are helping somebody, you know, and, and uh, you know, these stories of, of success and overcoming and even showing uh, vulnerability and building up in strength from vulnerability is something that, you know, it could touch anybody in a special way. So I want to thank you both for joining us this morning and uh, sharing with us this morning. And we look forward to that being aired on TTT, of course, and on social media coming up very soon. Pink Gems.